Hello, welcome to the first lesson in Educator.com's HTML course. In this lesson, we're going to just get a very quick introduction to how to create your very first web page. Um, from having zero knowledge or experience, after this lesson, you should be able to have a web page that is uh, just like any other web page on the internet that you can view in a browser. So, before we start looking at that, um, I just want to point out a little bit about what HTML is. It's basically the backbone of the internet. Every single website on the internet uses HTML and that counts for the oldest web page that has ever been created, which is this one. Uh, it's one of the simplest as well, to some of the newer ones like YouTube. And you, it's actually very easy to get into the source and look at the HTML. Um, in your browser, you can hit Option Command U or Command U or Control U, um, depending on which browser you're using, and it'll pull up the HTML source. And this is the HTML source for the first web page on the internet. And um, it won't make sense to you right now if you're completely new to this, but it's actually fairly simple. Um, you can see right away that there's a little bit of correspondence between text here and text that shows up, but there's also a lot of code there that you don't understand. Um, now when you get to something like YouTube and you view the source, there's going to be a lot more that you're not understanding because there's a lot more going on. Um, for example, this is all scripting, JavaScript, and then you get down, there's a lot of divs and a lot of things are styled with CSS, and you can see it's also much longer code. But essentially, it's the same thing. It's just HTML and it's what makes the web work. You can also, for example, look at the, uh, this is HTML5 specification. And you can see that it's got uh, styling and content mixed all together and you can, you can view it and, uh, and this is our normal experience with web pages. Um, but you can separate out just the content, which is what I've done here. So this is that, that same page, but this is only the content viewed. And it's just a lot of text. Um, and it, in essence, this is the most important part of any web page, and it's what the whole uh, internet is about, is sending content. Uh, it's not just style and fluff and, and a lot of cool programming stuff. What we really care about is the content. Um, but when you just have this marked up like this with, with uh, no HTML, then it's kind of hard to make sense of what's going on compared to this. Um, what HTML does is it tells the computer what the meanings of all these different contents are. It's called semantics. Semantic means meaning. And it will semantically mark up the different parts of your content and tell to the computer what it is. And based on that, the computer will give some default styling. But the actual purpose of HTML is not the styling, but rather the semantics. So this is the, that same page content marked up with HTML. I'll show you the source real quick. Now you can see there's actual HTML tags. There's a lot of it scrolling all the way down to the bottom. Um, and when the browser encounters these semantic tags, for example, this is an H1, it now knows that this is uh, the first level heading and it'll make it bigger. Um, although you can see that when there's no styling applied, this is only the HTML, it's fairly basic. And that's just sort of a, a way to get things started. What you'll learn later on is to take CSS and style it to look the way you want it to and to control things like that. And then you will also want to learn JavaScript at some point to pick up on, uh, on some of the more advanced things you can do. So what you need to create a web page is a computer and a text editor. Any, any computer has these. So this is my text editor here. Um, if you're on Windows, you can pull up a notepad. Um, you can pull up text edit on a Mac. Um, this happens to be a, a little bit more fancy one. And all you have to do is save it as a uh, .htm file. So let's, here's a brand new, brand new file. Let's say I want to write something on the internet. Click Save, and I'm going to call it Hello. 
And the most important thing is that you give it this .html extension. And uh, of course, you need to be aware of where you're saving it. And then go over to your browser and find your file and open it. And now you've just created your first web page. This is as valid of a web page as any other website on the internet, um, even though all you've done really is some text. Like if you uh, hit Control U, this is the source, and this is just uh, this is the, the text that you edited here, and it's the same as the source, clearly, because you haven't put any HTML in yet. And that's all you really need. So if you're starting to make a website, a website you probably want to start with some content. So here I've prepared the content for a basic web page that I want to create. Um, it's, and I, I recommend that as you go through this course, you do the same thing. You create a basic website for yourself, and as you take each lesson, you can uh, add the different parts that you are learning and add pages and links to them, and sort of use it as a reference for yourself uh, for later on, and also just a way to show off what you're learning. So this is, this is an entire website here. Sorry, and, and right now it's just a page, but it's, it's going to be a website because it, it includes plans for links to various places. And I'm going to show you how to mark this up in HTML. So the first thing that's important in an HTML page is the HTML element. These little tags indicate that this is an element. And then at the end of my content, I'm going to put the corresponding closing element. This little slash indicates that this ends the element that began up here. So this is start HTML, end HTML, or stop HTML. Now, the next thing I want to do is add a title here. And the way to do that is a title you're probably familiar with um, shows up up here in the top of the page, not actually part of the main body. And the way to mark this up is using the head element and then the title element. So I'm going to move this little note I gave myself. And that is going to mark this up as the head with the title. Now the main body all is going to occur here. And of course, I need to end it. So I'm saving that. Now I'm going to tab over to the web page. And this is the content that I had prepared. And as you can see, it's not formatted at all. It's not marked up. The computer doesn't know what to do with it. Now I'll refresh, and the title changes, although the rest of it still needs to be marked up. So this is going to be a first level heading. Save, refresh. I think I hit Control A instead of Control S. And things are starting to come together. Now let's say we want to include an image. I've got this image that I've prepared of myself. And I want to include it next in this website right here. The way to do that is with the image tag. And you give it a source, actually, to indicate where the image is. Save, tab over, refresh. And here is my little image. This next group right here, this group of text, is a paragraph. And the HTML semantic tag for marking this up is the P tag, stands for paragraph. And you may want to look in here and uh, add some additional markup, like if I want to emphasize this word. OK, save, refresh. Now this is marked up as a paragraph. And this word has been emphasized with the EM tag. And there's a lot of other tags that you can use. Now here I'm going to have a couple of second level headers. I'm actually going to do all of them at once. And I'm actually just going to copy this 
and paste it so that's a bit quicker. And now come over here to refresh to double check again. You can see that it's marking them up a little bit larger. Okay. Now this is going to be a list of links of things that I've mastered. So since I've obviously mastered how to create a web page, I'm going to have it link to itself. And the way to link to a page to itself, which is kind of a silly thing to do, is put this little hash code, which will just refresh the page. But just for the purpose of demonstrating, this anchor tag has a hyper reference attribute and then you put the URL of the page which in this case is itself refresh and this has become a link so now if I hover over it my cursor becomes a hand and if I click it refreshes goes back to the same place it was and you'll notice this little hash has been added to the URL now this is a list some things that I will master by the end of this course in fact it's a unordered list UL. And this is the first list item, LI, and the second one, and so on. These are all things that if you take this course all the way through, you should master by the end. Stop UL. Now you'll notice I actually didn't put the closing list item tags for all of these. And that's because that these are uh, self-closing. This is something that HTML5 allows and uh, other versions of HTML, something like XHTML wouldn't. So I'm going to save this and show you what a marked up list looks like. Here we go. And now it's a list. And as you go through, you can take these, turn them into links, and add them to this here things that you have mastered as you master them. And then lastly, uh, this is going to be another unordered list. Stop unordered list. And the list items, although they're actually going to be uh, a list of links. So I'm going to put the link here. And I'm going to put the full URL. this long thing anymore and I suggest that you keep track of websites that are very helpful as you go through this course and just in general um, to reference them later and then you'll always be able to find what you need quickly if you remember looking at something and you can't find it as easily it can be frustrating And notice that the editor that I have here automatically colors my text depending on this, the syntax that I use as it recognizes that I've completed an attribute it turns it blue and when I add uh, when I close off the elements it it changes the colors as well let's take a look after I saved and refresh, and here's my list of links.